It's Wednesday, time for our weekly trip to the new zoo, and Neil Anderson joins us now live from Swamico with more about the snow monkey. Good morning, Neil. Hey, good morning, and I'm here with Dr. Tracy Gilbert, and we're in the uh, snow monkey exhibit, and uh, Dr. Gilbert's going to talk about Higashi and uh, the work that she did with Higashi, you know, with the injury that she did receive. Good morning. Higashi's sitting here behind us. She's not really that happy to see me. She's been seeing me every day since last Friday. <laughs> um, she's had three different procedures to take care of a very bad wound that was on her back last week. Um, and I brought a stand-in. She's famous enough now that she has her own stand-in. And I know this is not a monkey, <laughs> so no emails and no letters, please. <laughs> but this is Teddy, and my dog Grizz has donated Teddy to stand in for Higashi just to show you what we did. <laughs> So basically, Higashi had a really bad wound on her back. And we've put a t-shirt on Teddy here to show where the wound was. And this was all the exposed area where the skin was torn back. This big flap of skin was basically torn Ooh. back. And yeah. so we had this big of an area to try to close up. And unfortunately, we couldn't pull the edges together the first time when we saw her. And that's a real problem for getting healing on there. So what we do, we consulted with Jessica because we had a couple of options, and one was to try to let it heal on its own. It's called granulation, but that takes weeks and weeks, and it really results in more pain and discomfort and risk of infection. But Jessica thought we could do some surgery and that Higashi would be able to leave some of the sutures and the, the devices that we put in there, that she would possibly leave those alone and that we could keep her calm and quiet and away from the other monkeys to allow this to heal. So... We went ahead and anesthetized her again after we got some initial granulation <laughs> tissue in. And this flap basically didn't have any blood supply, so that was gone. That was removed, and we had this wound. And what we did is we made something called an H-plasty, which is a kind of a skin graft. So where we had the wound, we cut some additional incisions along the sides, kind of in the pattern of an H. And this whole procedure, this initial procedure that we did, took about an hour and a half to do. It was a long procedure. And once we did that, we loosened the edges underneath these two flaps, and then we were able to pull the flaps together. Wow. Where we couldn't close it before, now yep. we've loosened it up and pulled it together. So we ended up sewing all the edges together like this, and then we used some bits of IV tubing over the edges for the sutures to keep tension off of the skin to allow it to heal. And so this IV tubing, we actually ran the sutures through, and what that does is it takes pressure off of the wound and helps keep the tension off because that's the thing that allows it to heal. And then we had a drain in there and, and some other things that we did, and of course antibiotics and two kinds of pain relievers, and now she's doing very, very well. And you can, t you can see, here's, here's the picture, you know, Doc uh -huh. had showed a teddy bear, but you can just see... Here's the picture of, yeah. like, say, the way it was, and you know how red it was, and I don't know how many stitches, Doc. Do you think we lost count? Of it, so <laughs> I don't know how many. And, and but doctor, now, can I ask a question, Neil? Doctor, you've yeah, done sure. a lot of stuff, I know, with the zoo, but is this the first time you've done something like this? Well, this is the first time we've been able to do this level of a procedure on an animal at the zoo. We do this pretty commonly in dogs and cats and okay. other animals. The zoo animals are a little bit special because we can't get our hands on them as frequently. You can't do some of the bandaging techniques and so forth. But with our new state-of-the-art primate facility here, the macaque exhibit, we were able to restrain her, to keep her away from the other monkeys. She can still see them and communicate with them, but it keeps her less active, and she's been very cooperative. Well, uh, Dr. Neil, we have to get going, but uh, Neil, we'll, we'll check back with you next hour. Are you going to continue to talk about the snow monkeys? Yes, we will. Okay, good deal. Thanks. Interesting stuff. Sounds good.